We want to continue now our conversation with former San Francisco District Attorney Chesa Boudin joining us uh, once again. Here we had a brief break, Chesa, here to, to uh, get an update on the Bay Area weather, but we appreciate you hanging with us. Um, you are the new director at the Criminal Law and Justice Center at UC Berkeley's School of Law, uh, taking over this position here. And we were, we were talking, uh, before, we, before we got interrupted, we were talking uh, about your time in office, the two and a half years you spent as San Francisco DA, some of the, some of the criticism you faced and and the recall election that you faced as well how how does your time in office and that recall vote how, how does that experience uh, inform the, the way you operate and function here at this new center at UC Berkeley you know I learned a lot while I was in office um, and and really one of the things I've learned over my career as a lawyer is how all too often the legal education we offer to students and the even the work of lawmakers in our state capital who are writing laws all too often there's a, a disconnect between where the rubber meets the road and the practical work that happens day in day out in the lives of everyday citizens taxpayers and residents and and the way the laws are being written and implemented and so one of the things i'm really excited to do is to bring the practical experience of my time in office of the years i spent as a san francisco public defender and of the more than 40 years I spent visiting my parents in prison, that lived personal and professional experience needs to inform the way we're making laws, the way we're educating future lawyers. All right. So now that you, you've had some time to kind of think about what, what happened uh, when you were district attorney and the recall vote, do, do you have any regrets about the policies you implemented? Do you ever feel like you maybe pushed too far or maybe didn't respond in the right way to voters' concerns about public safety in the city? You know, Alex, I really appreciate that question. I'll tell you what, I have lots of regrets and uh, certainly learned a ton of lessons. Um, it was my first time in elected office, and I was an outsider in City Hall, and I never was an insider, and I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't want to be an insider. We got serious problems in San Francisco City Hall, and um, I ran on a platform precisely of being an outsider who would bring change. Uh, uh, I made a lot of mistakes along the way, no question about that. I think we all do when you're running an office of 300-plus people. Um, my biggest regret, though, to answer your question directly, Alex, my biggest regret it takes two months before the COVID pandemic shut down our courthouse, shut down uh, the DA's office, and so dramatically changed the way we all live our lives, crime trends in the city, everything about how we think of safety and administer justice was turned on its head overnight. And I couldn't have predicted that, and I am sure there's ways in which we could have responded more effectively had we been able to predict what was coming. All right. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time today to discuss your new role at UC Berkeley's School of Law at the Criminal Law and Justice Center. Former San Francisco District Attorney Chase Boudin, good to see you. Congratulations. Thank you.